Hello everybody, it is Storm Ranger, and today I'm coming back to a brand new Fortnite video. In today's Fortnite video, I'll be going over the brand new Week 7 Challenges in Fortnite Season 9. On screen now, you can see what the Week 7 Challenges are. Of course, great to Alex 7 yoshi and Atha Squatting Dog on Twitter for leaking these challenges. So in this video, I'll be going over each and every one of these challenges, and my best advice for how you can complete these challenges as fast as possible. And of course, if you want help on only one in particular challenge, I'll have the timestamps to which part of the video go over each challenge in the description down below. But of course, really quickly before we get into that, I'd just like to remind you all, if you find this video helpful or entertaining in any way, shape, or form, make sure to leave a like on this video. If we could hit 250 likes of this video, that would be fantastic, and that would just make my day. In addition, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications. All you need to do is push that button in the bottom right corner of the video. We are so close to 6,000, and I really want to see if we can hit that by Friday. Now, last but not least, if you want to support the channel one step further, make sure you use code STORMS in the Fortnite item shop. That's with an S at the end. That way you'd be supporting the channel every time you make a purchase in the Fortnite item shop. Seriously, thank you so much for every single one of you guys using my code. Here's a shout out to a few of you guys. If you want to have a chance to chat in on the future video, just use my supporter creator code. And let me know either in the comments or my Twitter at JJ. Anyways, with all that being said, let's get right into the video. So once again, in case you forgot, on screen now you can see what all of the week 7 challenges are. And of course, if you're able to complete 4 out of any 7 of these challenges, you'll be rewarded 7,000 XP. Now the first of these challenges is search 7 chests at Junk Junction or Neo Tilted, and if you're able to complete this challenge, you'll be rewarded 5 Battle Pass Stars. Now my best advice for this challenge is to lean at whatever location you are the most comfortable with. For example, if you know all the chest locations at Neo Tilted, then of course, land Neo Tilted. And if you're not familiar with the chest locations at either one of these locations, then I recommend you land the location that is least populated. For example, most of the time you should be landing Junk Junction, because often very few players go there, and that way you'd have plenty of time to loot the chests at Junk Junction. You don't need to worry about players coming and killing you while you're trying to loot these chests. Anyways, this challenge is very straightforward. As long as you do this, you should easily be able to complete this challenge. So the second challenge is to search seven ammo boxes in different name locations, and of course, if you're able to complete this challenge, you'll be rewarded five Battle Pass Stars. So essentially for this challenge, you must go to seven different name locations and search an ammo box at each location. The best advice for how to complete this challenge is to play in Team Rumble, because in Team Rumble, you can respawn, meaning you can spend the entire match trying to complete this challenge. You don't need to worry about being killed while trying to complete this challenge. All you need to do is land at one name location and then search for an ammo box. Once you find an ammo box, then go to the next location. Also keep in mind, when you do die in Team Rumble, you do respawn in the air with your glider, so you are able to hit two or three name locations from where you respawn in the match. Anyway, as long as you do this, this challenge shouldn't be too hard at all, and you should easily be able to get those bonus five Battle Pass Stars. Now the third challenge is to get three suppressed weapon eliminations, and if you're able to complete this challenge, you'll be rewarded 10 Battle Pass Stars. Now in case you were unaware what all the suppressed weapons in Fortnite are, on screen now, you can see what all of them are. Now in order to complete this challenge, all you need to do is go into a game of Team Rumble, and then search for one of these weapons. Then once you have found one of these weapons, then go and try and get three eliminations with these weapons. Obviously, I recommend you do this in Team Rumble, because it'll be a lot easier trying to get eliminations in Team Rumble, as players can respawn because that eliminations are really easy to get, and so you should definitely be able to get three eliminations with a suppressed weapon in that match. Anyways, as long as you do this, this challenge shouldn't be too hard at all, and you should be able to get a bonus 10 Battle Pass Stars. So the fourth challenge is to deal 200 damage to opponents who are riding a vehicle, and if you're able to complete this challenge, you'll be rewarded another 10 Battle Pass Stars. Now this challenge isn't too difficult at all, as long as you know where vehicles spawn. On screen now you can see all the locations where all the quad crashers spawn, all the hoverboards spawn, and all of the ballers spawn. All you need to do is land at one of these locations when there will be a lot of opponents going there, for example if it is a hot drop or if the bus flies right over it. Then simply get a gun and wait near a vehicle and an opponent and wait until that opponent gets into that vehicle. Then at that point you want to try and laser the vehicle before the opponent gets out of the vehicle. I recommend using a weapon like an AR or a sniper as you're able to deal a lot of damage in a really short raid using one of those weapons. Now keep in mind, 200 damage is a lot of damage to a vehicle, and chances are the opponent is going to exit the vehicle relatively fast. Because of that, you may need to do this a few times. Anyway, as long as you do this, this challenge shouldn't be too difficult at all, and you should be able to get a bonus 10 Battle Pass Stars. So the fifth challenge is a multiple stage challenge. The first stage requires the player to visit the Block and Loot Lake in a single match. The second requires the player to visit Fatal Field and New Tilted Towers in a single match. And the third requires the player to visit Snobby Shores and Mega Mall in a single match. Now if the players able to complete this challenge, they'll be awarded a total of 5 Battle Pass Stars, 1 Battle Pass Star for the first challenge, and 2 Battle Pass Stars for the second and third challenges. Now this challenge isn't too hard at all, as long as you go into, of course, Team Rumble, because in Team Rumble you can respawn. That way you're able to traverse between two different locations and don't need to worry about dying. Just keep in mind, you must do each stage of this challenge in a different match. You can't do two or more stages of this challenge in a single match. So because of that, I recommend you complete your other challenges, and while you're completing those other challenges, make sure you complete one stage of this challenge for every match of Team Rumble that you're in while you're trying to complete your other challenges. Anyways, as long as you do this, this challenge shouldn't be too difficult at all. You should be able to get a bonus 5 Battle Pass Stars. So the sixth challenge is to search a chest, use a vending machine, 
and a campfire in a single match. And if you're able to complete this challenge, you'll be rewarded 10 Battle Pass stars. Now, in order to be able to complete this challenge, it's important that you know how to find a chest, a vending machine, and a campfire. Chests are very easy to find. You can find them pretty much anywhere on the map. Vending machines on screen now, you can see where all the vending machines spawn. And finally, regarding the campfire, you just need to get lucky. Also, campfires do spawn pretty frequently within supply drops. Because of that, I recommend you go into Team Rumble, where supply drops can often be found early on in the game towards the center of the match. And of course, if you want to be able to complete these challenges even faster, you definitely want to make sure you complete other challenges other than just this one in a game of Team Rumble. So let's see what you want to do. You want to land at a location where there's a vending machine, like Fatal Fields. First, get the vending machine to make sure no one else gets it first. Then go and search a chest. Once you've gotten both a chest and a vending machine, then simply die and then respawn in the center of the storm circle. Then use your map to find where a supply drop is and fly between different supply drops and loot those supply drops and try and get a campfire from those supply drops. Then once you get that campfire, all you need to do is use that campfire. Anyways, as long as you do this, you should easily be able to complete this challenge and get an extra 10 battle pass stars for your battle pass. Now the seventh and final challenge is to get three eliminations from five meters or less. And if you're able to complete this challenge, you'll be rewarded 10 Battle Fast Stars. Now, once again, this challenge shouldn't be too difficult at all as long as you go into Team Rumble. In a game of Team Rumble, when you respawn, you respawn in the air with your glider out. Now, since in Team Rumble, the map is often very hectic and very loud, it usually isn't too difficult to sneak up on an opponent. So because of that, when you die in a match and you respawn with your glider in the air, try and land right next to an opponent and try and shoot them from behind. Often they won't even see you coming. It's best if you have a shotgun too, because you're able to one-shot them in the head and don't need to worry about them turning around and then killing you first. Now, if you're able to do this three times and get three eliminations by doing this, you'd be able to easily complete this challenge. Anyways, as long as you follow my advice, this challenge shouldn't be too difficult at all, and you should be able to get an easy extra 10 battle pass stars. Anyways, that has been how to complete all of the week 7 challenges for Fortnite Season 9. Thank you all so much for watching. If this video helped you out in any way, shape, or form, or you just found it entertaining, make sure to leave a like on this video. Remember, our like goal is 250 likes. In addition, if you want to get notified every time I make a video like this, I always make videos like this weekly. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications. All you need to do is push that button in the bottom right hand corner of the video. Remember, guys, we are so close to 6,000. I really want to see if we can hit that by Friday. Now, last but not least, if you want to support the channel one step further, make sure you use code STORMS in the Fortnite item shop. Remember, that is with an S at the end. That way, you'd be supporting the channel every time I make a purchase in the Fortnite item shop. Seriously, thank you so much to every single one of you guys who using my code. You guys really help me out a ton and really mean a lot to me. Anyways, with all that being said, that has been how to complete all of the week seven challenges for Fortnite season nine. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.